So what exactly is it that Jesus saw that evidently he was not happy with? Well, money changers and merchants did big business during the time of the Passover. The Jews commemorated every year the Passover. It was one of their holy feasts. And people would come from all over the region, Jewish people, to celebrate the Passover. Well, the money changers in the temple saw this as an opportunity to capitalize and make some money. They have to have their money changed to the temple tax, the temple currency. So often these people, they would inflate the exchange rate. And this was making the merchants wealthy. The outer court of the temple was set up for the non-Jews to come and worship Yahweh. There was so much commerce taking place that there wasn't even enough room for people to come and worship. They had turned the place of worship into a shopping mall and they're getting rich off of it. With this context, because that's what, in verse 11, Jesus entered Jerusalem, went to the temple, what? Courts, remember I told you, the outer courts. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the 12. It's almost as though Jesus is saying, oh no, 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 I'm gonna come back at the busiest time of the day, and we're making a point here, I'm gonna make a scene. With that context, it helps us to understand the whole fig tree thing. Because again, you're reading this and you're going, okay, he gets up, he's hungry, he goes and says, oh, there's a fig tree, he's got leaves on it, maybe he has figs, he goes over, doesn't have any figs because they weren't in season yet. He's like, may no one ever eat fruit from you again. And the thing withers and dies. And at first glance, you're going, man, bro, <laughs> like, what is that all about? But remember, everything Jesus does is on purpose. And even though it wasn't the season for figs, watch this now, it looked like it would have fruit. The fig tree is representative of the people of Israel. And they had all the look of people who were fruitful for the Lord. That these were people, listen now, who were nothing but leaves. He says, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. You've made it a den of robbers. So here's what I know to be true. A lot can be revealed about a person by what makes them angry. What makes God angry? Well, turning what is meant to be sacred into something for greed and for commercial profit, that makes God angry. Taking advantage of people for your personal aggrandizement, that makes God angry. Perhaps above all, being nothing but full of leaves. 